Hey, so while working into facility transport, I was sent over with my EMT partner to an emergency diff breather. Once we show up, we find a female patient in her early 20s having a spontaneous pneumothorax. This is very common. Look it up. Pneumothorax usually happen when you have a traumatic incident. But there's also a variation of pneumothorax, which is spontaneous pneumothorax, and she was suffering from her third one. We ended up transporting the patient BLS before ALS, I didn't need a decompressor. We took it to the hospital and let them handle it, right? Her pulse ops was fine. There was no need for immediate interventions. Once we take this person to the hospital, we get back on the ambulance, and my partner, he starts communicating to me his discomfort, his lack of feeling at ease because of the way the job went. And the way it went was like this. I said, I'm going to drive, and you tech the job. Why? because there's no need for ALS interventions at this very moment and this is a great opportunity for him to get the patient exposure so instead of me hogging all the experience instead of me hogging all the knowledge I went ahead and let him do the patient care for a total of three city blocks in New York City and he came to me and felt overwhelmed and why didn't you tell me it was this then the third and it just reminds me of the victim mentality in EMS where he was upset because I, I asked him to tech. There was nothing for me to do as a paramedic. What am I going to do? A 3 lead? A 12 lead for spontaneous pneumothorax? That's taken care of inside of the hospital. Not on a street from New York City. Not on a street corner in New York City. So I explained that to him. And I also told him, remember your practical skill sheet? Is there a portion of A, B, C's in there? Because he was under the impression that because he was an EMT and I'm a New York City paramedic that it was my patient. No, bro, we're on the ambulance together. So if you ever had you as an EMT had the mentality that, yeah, this is the paramedic's patient because I'm a lower medical authority. That's their patient now, not mine. You're wrong. If you're a paramedic and you hand out, hand off the patient to the doctor, technically, legally, it's their patient once they sign your PCR. But in reality, it's everybody's patient. This person should be taken care of as a team in a team effort. Don't just play hot potato and give it to one individual because they went to school a little longer than you did and memorized more exams than you did. Right? So I say that to say this. That EMT was absolutely wrong. I corrected him and let him know, this is your patient too. Why didn't you assess her? You had the opportunity to appreciate a pneumothorax and because you belittled yourself and thinking that you cannot do something as simple as ascutate lung sounds, you were unable to identify the sound of said lung sounds. And if you are faced with a frail chest in the future, you're not going to be able to link it together because the way our, mind, our memory works is we learn something over here, we learn something over there. And once we're able to link it together then it's easier to remember. And he put himself at a disservice and subsequently his patients moving forward are at a disservice because he does not know how to identify a pneumothorax besides from what he learned in the book. He missed out on the real, real world application of said knowledge. So for you to avoid this, understand that it's your patient as well. If you're an EMT and I'm a paramedic or if I'm a flight paramedic and you're just a regular paramedic or if you're a critical care paramedic and I'm a regular paramedic, I don't care. This is our patient. Of course, there's things that are your responsibility exclusively because of your scope of practice. But nonetheless, we need to work as a team to take care of this patient and you should use what's within your scope of practice to assess this patient. Stop putting yourself like a victim. Stop belittling yourself. It's your patient as well. You're not just the driver. He's like, oh, my job is only to drive. 
I'm like, wait, you're an emergency medical technician. You know how to use an oxygen tank, right? You know how to use your stethoscope, right? You know how to take vitals, right? You're not an Uber driver, bro. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Peace.